favorite character that I played in Mortal Kombat was definitely Quan Chi. Do not fail! We have toyed with the ninja long enough. Quan Chi was a really interesting character because he was created for a game called Mortal Kombat Mythologies. You are responsible for this sorcerer! Which was a, an adventure game that was being uh, produced at the same time as we were doing Mortal Kombat 4. And so we thought it would be interesting to have him make an appearance in Mortal Kombat 4 as well as Mythologies, even though those two games happen in completely different parts of the Mortal Kombat timeline. Quan Chi is one of the most mystifying characters to me. We really don't know what his origins are other than he's from the Nether Realm and he's part of the Brotherhood of Shadow. Who knows how old he is? You know, he could be as old as the Nether Realm itself, but he is definitely evil. He is definitely an evil guy. I think of him as the greatest sorcerer in the Mortal Kombat universe. I think of him as being even more powerful than Shang Tsung. <laughs> Rich DeVizio was hilarious as Quan Chi. <laughs> uh, he really played the part well. To me, he is Kano, and he is also Quan Chi. He's, he's both of those characters. You can't look at Quan Chi and not think Rich. And now, on to Hollywood. The makeup was unbelievable, and I was actually able to act a little bit in full motion videos, which was very exciting for me. I remember that the impetus behind the cabinet design on MK4 was the reintroduction of the series back then. They wanted it to stand out in the midst of the arcades. As such, they wanted to push the sides as something that you could not miss. So he did some shots in the studio, had Rich come in, put fire behind him, big old Quan Chi face, no one can miss it. And that's what ended up happening. The first time I saw myself on the side of the Mortal Kombat 4 arcade stand-up, I was just blown away. That chapter in Mortal Kombat 4 was the Quan Chi show in a sense. Do not fail. <laughs>